Reddit's, Reddit's darkest corners. Let's ride. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I have a lot of announcements, so I'm gonna try to make this very quick. The first announcement is 600 thousand subscribers the last video this channel's popping off 500,000 as of filming this video we are at 622,000 subscribers and honestly thank you guys thank you to all the newcomers that are coming from critical's channel first of all charlie thank you oh. so much i know i told you thank you in dms and by the way guys the fact that i talked like, that i spoke to he's critical, such a like, sweetheart uh, unironically like he's such a sweetheart record, but i feel like i'm saying something i would like to repeat so Thank you to all the newcomers. Also, there was no like cinematic intro for this video because the channel intro editor known as Charge is actually uh he's actually editing the music video that's gonna be out soon. That's right. Cherry Soda. He seems like a nice guy. He is single, which I'm sure all of you guys are gonna like, even if you don't listen to Hyperpop. I'm sure you're all gonna like it. That's how confident I am. We do not have an official release date, but the video will premiere here <sighs> on my channel live. Yes, I'll be Thank in the chat. I'm literally gonna ping everyone on Discord and Fuck, man, that horse has really like hurt my head. On. So it's gonna be a live event. I'm thinking 6 p.m. PM. PST. So convert that over to whatever your time zone you're in. Um, you're in. <laughs> but seriously, it's gonna come. We've seen Carl H. Sure. So yeah. just keep your eyes open on that. It we might saw be that on one. the channel already, just like for the countdown thing. Hey guys, I want to let you guys know that I actually did an interview with Mock Nix, and it's so extremely Thanks, fun. Granny. I love this interview, and it's my first interview ever. So if you guys want to get to know me, make sure to check it out in the link in the description. And here's a little preview of what the interview looks like. Tough. Yo. It reminds me of Comedy Night. Subscribers. Thank That's you. Insane. Guys, Mocknix is pushing P. Turn off that fucking sign! All bros, hit me up. Hit me the Get this man a collab with 100 Gex. Do they still make music? You could be right there. 100 so, Gex is Reddit's Piss Baby, right? Corners. In this video, we will be covering specific subreddits and users that can be described as strange, disturbing, odd. And I know what you guys are thinking. Dude, all of Reddit is like disgusting. What are you talking about? I know it is. I know. I know it is. But uh, let's just go even deeper than the surface. This video will be a little You don't want to go deeper than the surface on Reddit. To help me out on certain topics. I want to give a big shout out to Juno over on the Tub Discord for Thanks, helping Granny me out and with this idea. Hero. Juno gave me the idea. That's what I'm trying to say. If you guys have video ideas that you want me to cover make sure to go leave it in the video ideas channel over on the discord i'm not gonna lie literally like nine out of ten of them are horrible i, I go on that channel dude i remember someone someone requested me to talk about harry styles like what do you want me to say the dark side of harry styles like no harry no, styles has probably got okay, some fucked up shit in his past people say my intros are long okay if they're long literally skip to where the video starts that's why i leave chapters in my videos okay so <laughs> does he skip i don't care anyway let's get started with it oh, that's cute r slash jizzy cards jizzy cards 37 members oh boy we're starting off strong with this one okay r slash jizzy cards if you had to take a guess of what that even meant go ahead take a guess i'm s all right I, th I bet i can nail this i would imagine it's people doing cum tributes on old video game cartridges i would say it's people that like i love ocarina of time so much here's the n64 cartridge <laughs> just fucking blast it that would be my guess Certain you wouldn't have guessed men ejaculating onto video game cartridges <gasps> and. But I did. I fucking did. Discs. For fun. <laughs> yeah. Yep. But I did. I one. know these communities so fucking well. I. I've never heard of Jizzy Carts. I know this shit so well. Because there's all there's other communities like this. Like I mentioned, come tributes. This is huge for uh, like figurines. So like YouTube's. YouTube's has their own come tribute community. Where people will get U2s of their favorite YouTuber or whatever, and they'll literally just come on it. They'll put it in jars and shit. Yeah, it's huge. It's fucking huge. So, I knew right away Jizzy Carts had to be video game related. I bet most people go to, like, shopping carts or something of come, but I fucking knew. I knew exactly where this was gonna go. Thanks to the anonymous 5 gift subs, man. And the 10 gift subs, huge-ass Marcus. You guys like mods at Jizzy Carts or something? Yeah, hey, fuck yeah. Keep up the good work. And thank you for the generosity. 15 posts, and the subreddit was created in 2012. The most recent image was posted three years ago. It's safe to say that this subreddit is dead. The images consisted of three different accounts, but who's to say it wasn't just one person with two other alt accounts? The comments mainly consist of people questioning <laughs> the existence of the subreddit and, uh, requests? The main user posting these images goes Oh, I want to read the request. What did he want? If it wasn't Donkey Kong 64, they fucked up. That's a cool cartridge. Oh, better yet, Majora's Mask. That had the holographic. Good to see a rareware game being humiliated like this. I would shoot a load on Conker's Bad Fur Day, but I'm low on money at the moment. 
It costs nothing to ejaculate. Unless you have to put like a quarter in like a jar at your house like for every time you sin. I don't know what you mean. Or I guess it, like he has to buy the game. The main user posting these images goes by mm -hmm. ISVP7. And by clicking on this account, we can see he's still active. By the way, just by browsing this account, ball I got hill. like five other strange subreddits that are in this video. So shout out to ISVP7. <laughs> User snapped fingers. All credit to Eudoxia Mysteries video on this. He made a 25 minute detailed Thanks video. Thanks a bit so in the prime him. skelly. He's almost at 100,000 subscribers. And honestly, he deserves a lot more. So make sure to subscribe to Eudoxia Mysteries. Anyway, this is a case of a missing or dead Redditor. I obviously can't cover everything in this video because I'm covering these things in a very broad manner just because it's a list video. This story begins with the user claiming that they can see things that aren't actually there, like paranormal things, and that they were told by experts on Discord that they have to make a sacrifice experts a on Discord, huh? in order for the interdimensional beings to leave them alone. Discord experts? Like... <laughs> yeah, so that's what I said. The things they described that's definitely a red flag. Dark figures of humans, adults, and children, spiders, snakes, and more. They also explain that they are against medication and refuse to see a doctor. This story is very similar to that of Worthless319, which we already covered on the channel, so make sure to watch that after this video. Eventually, Worthless319 was the video we watched. It's about the Redditor who claimed he blew his cock off to save the world with a gun. I'm... Pretty sure it was all a hoax. I looked into it further after the stream. I'm almost 100% sure that was all just a big, like, a ooh, so edgy kind of thing. The pictures weren't even of, like, a, a dick that had been shot by a gun. It was just more of, like, a really deformed, weird wiener. <laughs> like, I don't know how to describe it. But yeah, that was definitely not, like, a real thing. But the penectomy shit is real. Pe there are people that do actually cut their cocks and, and all of that, but it wasn't that Redditor doing it. Actually, Snapped Fingers questions the reality of there being a hell portal in the Paris Catacombs and explains that they're booking a flight to put an end to this. What are the Paris Catacombs, though? During the Gallo-Roman period, many cemeteries within the city limits had become filled to overflowing, resulting in unsanitary and unpleasant living conditions. The problem grew so much that by 1786, these cemeteries were being emptied for reasons of public safety. With the remains of about 6 million bodies requiring to be yeah. reburied, the only location with sufficient room to hold them were all the former mines tunnels 20 meters beneath the city thus the former limestone mine someone got in lost paris in the paris catacombs and died as the catacombs so yeah it's a I think there's like a youtube video you about it actually go visit some of it is open to the public you just gotta pay so back to snapped fingers their last post on the account which was two years ago reads we'll be entering the catacombs in a few hours ish with another comment under it reading also i am very fast I used to run track back when I was in junior high school. I can likely outrun any possessed people. I am excited to finally close this chapter of my life and shut that blasted portal off for good. Now, personally, I do think this person was suffering from schizophrenia. Or, I could be completely wrong, this could be someone just looking for attention. The thing with these Redditor stories- Most likely attention on when on Reddit. We don't know. We don't really know. There is going to be one on the list where we do get an update. But for the most part, these are people that just never signed back into the account r slash coming on figurines eh? 35 that's what i was just fucking talking about this is where they'll do like u2s uh marvel figurines all kinds of shit i was just talking about that yeah this one's kind of popular they, they go, they go kind of wild Point nine thousand members. I mean, pretty self-explainable. It's always been a thing to nut on figurines. I can't even say that one. Wow. It's always been a thing to nut on figurines, especially in jars. Shout out to that. Yeah. Little, <laughs> shout out to the My Little Pony jar. No idea why, but something interesting I found back in the Brody era is that the owner God has a Patreon soul. where you can enter for quote figurine giveaways. Yeah. There's 28 patrons paying monthly to get exclusive pictures and videos of a man nutting on anime fig figurines. Yo, yeah, he's probably got uh, a great collection. Wow. Honestly, I just want to get all through. through They're probably not there for the nut quick. or for the uh, collection. Let's go over the next one. R slash inbreeding. 25.5 thousand <laughs> members. And just fucking your family isn't enough. Okay. The description reads, subreddit for posts about adult inbreeding, real or fantasy, porn or stories. AMA questions and Jesus answers. Jesus Christ. It's inbreeding related. It's just tier one plate Personal safe. experiences are encouraged and supported. The posts consist of a lot of people's stories, and honestly, I can't tell if they're real or just fantasy. When loading up the subreddit, we can see that this community is quarantined. When a subreddit is quarantined, it means that it's dedicated to shocking or highly offensive content, and you must be logged in in order to access it. So basically, like a shadow ban. And here's a strange comment I found. Well, the whole subreddit is more than strange, but again, I don't know if these people are telling the truth or just having some crazy 
crazy fantasy roleplay. Congrats, that's awesome. My mom and I are currently both pregnant with my dad's babies, and that's awesome. Here's another comment that I, I found, and it comes from the perspective real. of a daughter that's dating her father. My current status is mostly a girlfriend, but he still sees me as a daughter often. I'll get scolded if I'm not careful enough, and sometimes that's a turnoff for me. Lol. Rarely he uses the phrase, because I'm your father, Christy, and we end up fighting. Fortunately for me, he's very sweet and caring, and he knows me very well, and he even hates the thought of hurting me, so he always makes up with me the same day. All right. Come tagging 2000 members. Yeah, this was just the guys uh, splurging on objects. Men splurging on objects. I mean, that's it. There's, there's nothing more to explain to that. We have public trash cans, airport oh. toilet paper holders, campus bathrooms. I actually. Bathrooms. Yeah. So I, I don't know about come tagging, but I do know there was a. I don't want to give too much away about the guy. I've talked about it before. We've talked about it before on the podcast. We used to have this thing where we'd talk to people uh, from the Patreon podcast. And one of the people that was a regular is a U.S. soldier. And he was on a submarine. He was on one of the nuclear subs. So in between his tours, he'd come on to the, the hangout with us. And he'd always tell us the story, like the stories about like the people on the subs to pass time will literally just like come on things in the sub. I don't know how real that is or if it was just like his degenerate crew or whatever, but it's apparently like super common, at least on that vessel, because he would talk about it like pretty much every time he came back. Do we have any other like uh, submarine boys in here that can confirm or deny? What episode? No, no, it was like just hangouts where we just talked to people. It was a while ago. We haven't done that in a couple of years now. Thanks for some chewy. I heard living on those is fucking horrible. Oh, it sounds absolutely miserable. Yeah, it sounds true. I can't imagine a worse career than being on a submarine. You can't leave it. You're confined to such tight space and apparently all your friends are just ejaculating on everything. <laughs> sounds terrible. My dad was on one, but I'm not going to ask him. Why? They said him with that, hey, pop, pop, you ever come on the sub? Thanks for the resub, Turbo. Sounds like the average frat house. Well, the way he described it sounds like everything a frat, like the worst parts of a frat house at the worst possible place seemed miserable. But yeah, apparently that's pretty common there. According to one guy that we talked to. That was the only guy we knew, like, that ever worked on subs. All the other veterans were usually in, like, I don't know, like the Marines or something. Sometimes Air Force. Just, uh, continuing the list of wholesome subreddits on this list. Ew. That's so gross. Women hating subreddits. I need to give some cheese. It's not women, women hating the subreddits, but it's women hate men that hate women i found a lot of subreddits that are now archived they don't they don't exist anymore right but uh, we have r slash beating women we have r slash r wording women jesus we have christ slash hate women we have r slash just r word um i'm not gonna go through what i mean you guys can imagine yeah I, I can pretty much take a guess me, or i hate them i want to do this to them i want to r word like uh. i found an archive of the r wording women one i mean just look at the suggestions oh That's my god what the fuck is this there's a thing on Reddit where, like, almost every sub has the same moderators. I wonder if they were mods on here. I imagine at least one or two of them were. There's only, like, a hundred mods on all of Reddit, and they happen to mod every other subreddit on that fucking site. Like, there's some mods that are literally a power mod of a hundred other different subreddits. Like, Reddit was a crazy place back then, and still is, but it was just a lot less monitored r slash ibletch 228,000 members ibletch is one of the more lukewarm. popular ones on the subreddit especially if you're into gore and just disturbing things in general i wouldn't use the word mainstream because we're going to talk about another subreddit that has like millions of members but um definitely uh more popular it's ironic that this is one of the more popular ones because uh you can argue it has the worst stuff imaginable r slash ibletch became one of the main subreddits to visit for gore especially when r slash gore and r slash watch people die oh i actually remember when reddit. they did that why isn't this one taken down according to some users this subreddit is completely banned in some countries however i do not know which ones yeah i have nothing more to add to this i don't know what else to say about it it's uh it's pretty gross though so you know a little warning if you guys want to head over there
Was that first Our one Tub Girl? I didn't read it. gone wild. <laughs> one point two thousand members. We fuck shit up. This community is for the dedicated sink pissers who want to take their game to the next fuck level. Fuck yeah! Great finally, two thousand nineteen. This is a subreddit dedicated to people peeing in in sinks. Finally, my kind of people. Why is pointless at this point. We're my brother on Reddit. Peeing in your sink, weird, but okay. I mean, you're not harming anyone, right? But these people go out of their way. So sometimes pee in in public sinks or or their friends' bathrooms. Yeah, yeah it's get a pranked. thing to walk into your local retail store or a neighbor's house, a friend's house, walk into the bathroom and record yourself peeing in their sink, hoping that no one walks in. With captions like "fuck it, not my sink," cleaning out the neighbor's sink, <laughs> and always better in a public sink. I think it's safe to say that the members of this server are not in the right headspace, and I'm sure some of them are gonna watch this. My videos get very popular now and if i'm offending any of you i'm sorry i don't want any of you to fucking pull up to my house and start peeing in my sink true you don't want to fuck with the I sink pissers like I piss kink or anything i don't <laughs> i mean imagine going to a friend's house and then thinking oh boy i can't wait to take a piss in their sink and record it for i'm a sure everyone's pissed in a sink at least yeah, once in their reminder. life like let's yeah, not let's not mince support, words make sure to leave a like and if you're not subscribed make sure to subscribe. we've all been two or three User bud lights deep 19 years old and an extremely sad story it's a little wacky last words this account has since been deleted but i'll be using screenshots that i found from a youtube video so all my sources will be linked down in the description this user would make extremely depressing posts on multiple subreddits i'll read some so you, you guys get some idea of what this person was battling lukewarm. i'm just struggling to understand the meaning behind enjoying life if it's just gonna end at some point either abruptly with no warning young or slowly and humiliatingly with old age what is a hugs supposed to feel like i'm genuinely considering just for the small chance that it will allow me to start life over further on he goes to explain that he has a facial deformity due to his mother smoking while he was in her stomach so while she was pregnant he describes regretting pursuing engineering and is really going to go through with taking his own life then we get this Damn, that's sad. i lose i am 25 years old i have a degree i have been actively searching for a job for half a year now getting absolutely nowhere i am a virgin despite efforts to not be one i am poor I live in the cheapest student dormitory in the city. All my flatmates are filthy and I don't feel comfortable in my own home. I may get kicked out any day at short notice once they discover I am Aww. not a student anymore. I have no friends. My family has excommunicated me. I am born with a malformed face. This isn't exaggeration or drama. My medical records describe me as mm. malformed. I am well, objectively just sad. and will never be looked at with affection. I am r slash oh come on 63.1 thousand members 63.1 thousand that's actually a lot there's a lot of humans that have joined this subreddit they describe themselves as a place to challenge others to come in unusual places ways and circumstances you know what i'm not gonna describe any i'm gonna describe one sorry guys this one is it's it's called the oreo video i've this never heard of come that on it's gonna be stuck in my brain forever and it's even hard to repeat what happened but i'm gonna do it for you guys one because it's funny <laughs> two that's it it's just funny so there's this video where this guy i'm gonna use the word splurge okay i'm not gonna yeah so this guy you know Oreo, the word like, is the usually splooge middle, is right? splurge the new this one guy, like takes off the the cream right and then splurges where the cream should be puts the fucking oreo on top you know makes the cookie again with the splurge like leaking out and shit and fucking eats it on video dude Damn, that's well, hardcore he doesn't eat it on video but like you could tell he's munching that's, on it, right? that's chris chan like, shit and I already know some of you guys are going to look it up. That's gourmet. If you guys watch my channel, I know you guys are going to go look it up. At least give me the watch time. Like always, give me the watch time and then go give yourself a little bit of trauma. That, that one's called the Oreo video. Not officially named that, but I'm naming it the Oreo video. This video is brought to you by Manscaped.com. Feeling your best starts with... Manscaped does slap. Agreed. R slash just no M-I-L. 1.8 million Whoa. members. M-I-L means mother-in-law. This subreddit is dedicated to people venting about their horrible mothers and mother-in-laws. I'm gonna read you guys a story that pissed me off and I'm sure will enrage any normal human being. When my twin girls were born, we had no issues in the hospital. They were born right on their due date, latched perfectly, and passed all their postnatal tests with stellar stats. Nice. When we brought them home, however, we noticed that one of the girls, let's call her OD, since she was a whole 4.5 minutes older than her sister, was developing a rash. I hadn't really dealt with allergies in kids since my son didn't have them, and neither did any child or adult in my entire family. I wasn't sure what it was. I thought that maybe she just had sensitive skin like me. I can't tolerate certain fabrics because I have very dry skin, and I'll often break out in rashes and my skin decides that it doesn't like Something. So I stopped using fabric softener on all the clothes. I bought the nicest, most comfortable bedding and clothes. At one point, I even made her clothes myself in the fear that maybe something in the manufacturing process was upsetting my OD. We went to the doctor several times, and they knew that she was having an allergic reaction to something. 
but every test came back negative and we could oh and it turned out, out the mother-in-law was, was doing some crazy shit to figure it out during that time her allergic reactions got more and more severe at one point she was the only baby in the history of the hospital who had to be kept in a clean room because she seemed to have a reaction the minute she left when that happened we began to have elimination therapy that would rival the lifestyle of Buddhist monks. My husband and I moved our son and YD in with his parents because we needed to eliminate everything from our routine to figure out what was causing the reaction to our OD. We stopped using our soap, our shampoo, our deodorants, our laundry detergents, and that was before we even got to our diet. It took us three more months, but we figured it out. Our OD was allergic to coconut. The doctors told us that it was a particularly rare allergen, and so it wasn't on any of the skin test panels they ran. When we found out what she was allergic to, we were so relieved, so, so relieved. But in addition to feeling relieved, I delved into a so lot damper. of hysterical Make laughter. So I laughed so hard I cried. And the to this day, atomic. my DH tells me that he didn't know if I was crying from relief or pure happiness. Okay, so like I said, this story is very long, but to summarize it, the baby has an allergic reaction to coconut oil, and now we're being introduced to the mother, right? The mother of the woman, and this- I thought it was gonna be something like the mother-in-law was- serious. Like, using just, bleach like, on the kid or some shit. Oil. Like, what, what's gonna happen? So, let's skip to uh, where the grandmother is taking care of the baby. My mother had put coconut oil in both my daughter's hair when they were playing the previous day before bed. The girls loved it when my mom did their hair, and so they asked for braids, and my mom was doing their hair. She put coconut oil in both their hair because it would make for smoother braids. According to my son, OD started to get a little dizzy and itchy when my Jesus mom was doing Christ. her hair, so my mom gave her some kids Benadryl, which made her sleepy. Since it was close to bedtime anyways, the kids went to bed. Giving her Benadryl was something we did whenever she had a mild reaction, since it usually meant she accidentally came across some coconut from a secondary source. We also showered her head to toe immediately to erase any lingering traces of it. My mother simply gave her some Benadryl and kept the coconut oil in her hair and put her to fucking sleep. The Benadryl made her sleepy and unable to wake up or be conscious enough to wake up her brother or cry. She vomited in her sleep and the rash spread all over. Her little body was swollen oh, to twice well, the that size was she had asphyxiated in her sleep. She died painfully and slowly in the early hours of the morning. My mother was never arrested. My father did leave her, though they're not officially divorced. The majority of my mother's family refused to speak to her, and the few that do speak to her only do so on a limited basis. She currently lives on her own in a small town, and every couple months I'll get a call from her telling me how sorry she is, and how she just wasn't thinking, and can I please find a way to forgive her. She wants to come see me. The only thing I can find to ever say to her is, you can come see me when you bring my daughter with you. If Jesus you go read Christ. It on your own, it's a lot longer than what I just said, and I know what I said. Man, that's probably long, one of the most uh, intense ones on horrible, that subreddit. Horrible. That sucks. The rest is probably oh like God. my mother-in-law baked a bro. dry turkey. That's what that's what ignorance does, man. Let's move on. Jesus Christ. R slash jailbait. The Urban Dictionary. Oh, that was a big one back in the day. Female who is under the age of consent. That shit was dresses, fucked. Acts and appears as if she is over the age of consent, and who does nothing to correct that impression when she is bedded. Yeah, when I read that, I was like, whoa, what kind of victim blame, dude. Why are you getting mad at them? Like, nah, I don't want to get off track, but it's just weird when guys are like, yo, you shouldn't dress like that too young it's not even your life just fucking move on go on reddit actually that's what that's what they were doing it was just a place where creeps would talk about underage girls at the time eric martin they used it the front manager, page almost every week subreddits including jailbait by claiming that it was one of the side effects of promoting free expression on the web reddit administrators took down the subreddit after a user shared a picture of an underage teenager saying that he had nude photos of her as well and many users were requesting you know send me send me send me yeah it's just pretty disgusting stuff yeah, he's underselling how popular that was. Back when I first found Reddit, I would have been, what, a junior in high school? Jailbait was usually on the front page. That was a massive fucking subreddit. That would, I, what year would that have been? 2011-ish? It was fucking crazy. Yeah, and that was like, for some reason on Reddit, that like was totally normal. And I remember someone made a big hoobla. I don't remember, it might have been our atheism to be honest, because that was also huge then. Someone made like a huge hoobla, like why the fuck are we just allowing like open pedophiles on the site, like super transparent. And they're like, no, 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 jailbait's fine. Jailbait's good for Reddit, actually. And it, it was like a huge controversy when people were like, we need to get jailbait the fuck out of here. But they fought tooth and nail. That was on there for a long time. Like a really long time, much longer than you'd expect. Spontaneous H. This is That's the story Twitter of now. A redditor who documented okay, I guess. In 
injecting heroin. I'll read the main posts. I did heroin yesterday. I am not a drug user and have never done anything besides pot back when I was a teen. Ask me anything. This is a little long. I've never been a drug user. I drink once in a while and smoked pot years ago back when I was a teen in high school a few times and that's it. I'm 24 now, have a master's and a well This one's fake. Job. Yesterday, I was Usually the personal Washington stories Square are. Park where I pass every day and there are always people looking to sell drugs. Not in the park anymore due to the cameras, but it is well known you can meet a dealer and do the transaction elsewhere these Here's days. They usually don't Prime solicit Sebi. drugs to you unless you stop to stand around near one of them for some reason or look <laughs> like you're looking for something. Yesterday, I happened to stop by a row of benches to check some messages on my phone when a dealer on the bench to my right asked me if I need anything. My life has been pretty boring the last few years and I felt like I haven't really lived or taken any risks or done anything crazy so i figured what the hell maybe i'll buy some pot it's been a while i said yeah and after asking me several times if i'm a cop he gives me his number and tells me to meet him at a fast food place several blocks away and he will quote hook me up sleep well blown away man. by the power of this drug and how orgasmic it felt i never understood why people did drugs before and got so hooked on them but now i see why i have the urge to do it again but i will resist and not do it at least not for a long time i understand the addiction potential and how someone could easily tear apart their lives with this stuff heroin is pure power pleasure. I actually feel proud of myself for having the balls to do something this crazy and I feel like it was a valuable life experience and my window into another world and part of society. I'll never forget the day I did heroin. Now, ask me anything. Two weeks ago, I tried heroin once for fun and made an AMA. I have been using since and shot up for the first time today. No. AMA. Wednesday night update. Fucking, I'm still withdrawing, throwing up, and sweating out gallons of sweat. I really want to use and relapse right now. I know I shouldn't. These urges are so strong and overpowering. No shot, these are real. Nah, no, I usually don't believe the fuck my life. personal I I was ones. Trolling and this was some elaborate lie. I was doing everything right, have been clean, and somehow a rumor got out that I've been using and my girlfriend found out. She basically broke up with me last night, but is now putting that decision on hold. I have some serious unrelated business slash work I need to attend to in two hours, and I don't know if I'll be in any state to be able to be ready. I can't stop crying. Fuck heroin. Fuck my life. I guess I don't need to say that since heroin pretty much fucked my life for me in under two weeks. I just want to die. I am a patient in a psychiatric hospital. I was also technically dead last week. Ask me anything. Well, you guys will be Thanks happy to know Twista. that this person is actually still alive. Even though this all happened about 12 years ago, this user actually came back four months ago with an update. It's been a while. This is not an AMA or anything exciting, really. I saw a disturbing and sad post about an opiate overdose on the tier one slang. and was reminded to try to this log totally in fake. and check yeah, this. Probably. I guess it's been over three years since I checked this or posted anything. I find this Reddit account pretty overwhelming. I'm just posting to let people know that I'm still alive, clean, and doing well. Thanks to everyone who reached out in messages checking in over the past few years, and sorry if I can't get back to you. Here's another comment with more details where he responded to another user. It has been coming up on almost 11 years since I have used heroin, any hard Here's drugs, or nice alcohol. Thing. That was November 2010. A few years ago, I had a slip and just smoked weed, which is a bad mistake. So I consider my current total clean time three years since I count that. Nice. We actually had a happy ending to this one. Love that. Love that he's still okay and doing just fine. It's kind of uh, crazy to just be like, hey, yo, let me just shoot up some heroin. Fuck you. Tier one my life's kind of boring. Oh, should I document my experience doing that? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. All right, guys, that's going to be it for this video. Don't click off yet. Don't click off. Yet. I, I knew almost all of those. In the community tab, when I was telling you guys um, to leave requests for nice. video ideas, right? Or like Reddit ideas for this one. People were saying that I he just, didn't even like, cover true cells, which is surprising. And I just cover them in a mediocre way. Which Do you guys remember true cells? That was way, the, a little bit before the big incel explosion. There's the prime grant. Wow. Most people don't seem to remember it. True cells was the basically they were the progenitor to modern incels. They had a lot of very sad dudes that would post shit like women should be kept on farms and men should be allowed to buy women to fuck them. Stu like really horrible stuff like incel shit before it became mainstream. That one was pretty wild. They had like full websites full of like hundreds of pages where people would like write some real gross shit. And their weird view on the world. Thanks, the resub, Asa. Pre or post Elliot Rogers? Oh, fuck, I'd have to really think. I'm not sure. I think it was post because I vaguely remember that one of the websites had Elliot Rogers like their poster child. So I'm thinking it was post Elliot Rogers. Yeah, it was fucked. 
I think it's the res voice crack, the resub Shoof and Cypher. <clears throat> I feel like there were some other ones that weren't covered, but I can't think of them off the top of my head. True Cells is just one that I always remembered. Well, you going to bed? I'll come say goodnight in a sec. Why do people go so feral for sex? I don't know, man. There's some fucking weirdos out there. It's just as simple as that. Woo! We flew a little close to the sun there. God damn. Don't let anyone say I don't take risks.